Hello, uh, welcome comrades. Uh, this morning uh, is around uh, one in the midnight and I have come here once again uh, to have a chat with you. And today my address will be on the uh, sixth and seventh book of Moses. This book has baffled a lot of people and most people who own the books are unable to use them. Uh, I wish to explain some few things so that we actually understand what really goes on with the metaphysics or some of these esoteric books. Normally, uh, when the books are written, blinds are put upon them. Uh, the blinds are put there because those who will assess the book do not know the moral standing. Uh, those who write the book, sorry, do not know the moral standing of those who are going to uh, use the book. So in order to put something, some or more or less, something like a safety catch on the books, some of the major keys that makes most of the esoteric books workable are, are really uh, deleted or they are not included in the uh, books. So most of the esoteric books have blinds upon them. It means you will need someone who has the experience to really teach you before you can use the book. The six and seven book of Moses, which is alleged to alleged to have been written by uh, Moses, have got most of the uh, the keys not included. In spite of the fact that it is written at the back, the six and seven books of Moses and its key, the keys are not really included. That is why most people cannot use them. The book was written purposefully for evocation and invocation and evocation. But the truth of the matter is that if you are an inexperienced person or you are a neophyte, you will not be able to do the evocation in the books because you will not be able to assess the various keys. How bit? Uh, one of the terms which were included in the Sisters of the Book of Moses is the Psalms or the secret use of the Psalms. This one, any pious person or any person who leads a pious life and has the fear of God in him can put the book into good use. The next thing you can use are the seals. The seals were actually made purposely for evocation. But they can also be put to good use and uh, by the neophyte. If he knows how to apply them, then he will be able to assess health, money, luck, prosperity, success by just using the seals. Some of the seals, you only need to consecrate them and then you carry them. Just by carrying them, they will have the influence in your life and begin to change things. I have experimented with most of the seals which are very religious and uh, they've proved its efficacy. The bottom line is that you, one needs to lead a pious and a God-fearing life. Then you'll be able to assess it. The next thing is that you must be able to uh, you must be able to use or to consecrate and properly activate them. That is where the missing key comes in. You see the key, the seals have all got names and titles. So I'm going to mention the names and title of the various seals. And then after having mentioned their, their titles and names, then I will show how you can put those seals or the purpose for which you can use those seals. Having thought that, I will do another video which I will explain how to really uh, uh, consecrate and then activate them for your personal use. But for now, I'll show their uses. 
means when I mention the name of the seam, then I will mention their uses. This is my copy. This is my copy. This is the copy I use of the Sisters of the Book of Moses. I think you will see the, the price tag here. Okay. The seals, this is how they are shown in this one. And each one has got a name. So, for example, uh, we have the breastplate of Aaron. And I think the breastplate of Moses. The breastplate of Moses and then the breastplate of Aaron. So, what is this seal used for? And what is this seal also used for? This is how I will explain the various seals and how they are used for. I have another good book which was written by William Orabero. That has also been a very good book. And this is it. Uh, it is known as the Sealed Magical Book of uh, uh, Moses, written by William Orabero. It's a very good book with some of the seals uh, at the back. These seals have got various uses. And today, it is my purpose to teach the seals what you can use them for or the purpose of which you can use them. I only mentioned their names like uh, the breastplate of Aaron. I've already shown that here. Or the, the symbol of the crown serpent. It is this one is known as the symbol of the crown serpent. What is this seal? What is it used for? The symbol of the crown serpent. It, they are not included in the sentence of the book of Moses, but I will actually explain each by mentioning the name of the seal. I will mention, I will uh, show how we can put the seals to good to good use. So I'll start by the first seal is the breastplate of Aaron. The breastplate of Aaron. Uh, the breastplate of Aaron is used for protection and then it also protects one from sudden and violent death. The breastplate of uh, Aaron. Uh, what you do is that in case you do not, you are finding it difficult to identify, you can google it. You just google the name. The breastplate of Aaron. In the sense of the book of Moses, or the sense of the, book, the breastplate of Aaron, this one is used for protection, and also it is used against sudden or a violent death. Then we have the breastplate of Moses. The breastplate of Moses. This one is also used for a protection from all forms of harms. All forms. It doesn't matter whether uh, by knife or by accident. So it's used for all forms of hand. Then the other one I showed you, which is known as the crown serpent. This is a symbol for a mighty power, strength, and dominance. It means you can use it for power, strength, and then for dominance. Dominance. That is uh, the crown, the crown serpent. Then we also have the grand symbol of Solomon. Within the sense of the book of Moses, we have the ground symbol of Solomon. This is for divine guidance, wisdom, protection, and understanding in all matters. It means if you were looking for wisdom, you are looking for guidance, you are looking for uh, protection, and then uh, understanding in all matters, whether spiritual or physical matters, then this uh, grand symbol of Solomon is for you. Then we have the Great Pentagram Seal. The Great Pentagram Seal is a very popular seal. I've seen people who use the, uh, the rings or the pendant of the Great uh, Pentagram Seal. The Great Pentagram Seal protects from black magic and gives a man freedom from fear and judgment, a clear mind and a bright disposition but basically most people use it against all forms of uh, attack which involves spiritual attack witchcraft juju etc etc it's it stops all forms of uh, black magic then we have the master key 
the master key seal. The master key seal is a symbol of health, good fortune, and success. The master key seal, it's in the 6 and 7 book of Moses. If you are unable, you can google it and you will find it. Then we have the Shemiforash, the holy seal. Shemiforash, holy seal. This is allegedly bring contact with um, departed souls. It is also said to bring vengeance and on one's enemies and to ensure one uh, has a share of worldly goods. More, more, uh, sometimes it's used for uh, vengeance on one's enemy. Then you have a full share of worldly uh, goods. It means it sort of draws this thing. Then we have the Shermu Forage Seal 1. There are two. One is Shemu, there are three. Shemu Forage Holy Seal. Then we have the Shemu Forage Seal 1. Shemu Forage Seal 1 is for great success in finance. And then in business, I mean, those who are engaging in business and they want to uh, do well and also want to attract uh, more customers, more customers and uh, money. Uh, your seal is Shemi Forage, uh, seal number one. Then we have Shemi Forage, seal number two. Shemi Forage, seal number two is a great, has great mystical power and said to uh, cause those who carry them to be highly religious and to bring to their possessor divine guidance when needed. This is good for those who involve themselves in spiritual work, pastors, prophet, prophets, etc. And this is a very good seal for them because it is a highly religious seal and it sort of gives you that uh, psychic uh, gift. It brings you psychic gifts. Then the seal of the air, the seal of the air, uh, this one uh, is called the seal of relief. It's also called the seal of relief uh, from want and it brings uh, uh, necessities of life to the possessor. It is popular with those who are seeking employment. I mean, the seal of the air is popular with those who are seeking for employment. So if you are seeking for employment and you are not getting the employment, one of the seals that it will benefit you is the seal of the air. All you need to do is to have the seal consecrate and activate. Once you consecrate and activate them, and or then personalize them, after personalizing them, it, it will put, uh, the seal will put its energies at your service. Then the seal of Antichilis, Antichilis, this confer great wealth, honor, and promote good health, Antichilis. Then the seal of Arilis, this one, it compares others to do your bidding. It is loved by people who uh, are salesmen, people who are salesmen, people who want to uh, compel others to do their bidding. Uh, then we have got uh, the seal of Azabilis. The seal of Azabilis is for achieving great power over others and to attract friendship. Those who want to attract a lot of uh, friendship and also to get power over others. Uh, others. And then uh, we have the, the seal of Babulis makes one a master of all arts and secret knowledge. If you want to become a master of all the arts and then you also want to acquire secret knowledge, that is your seal. Then the seal of the earth, the seal of the earth, is see, referred to as the seal of a uh, spiritual assistance. Sometimes it is referred to as the seal of spiritual assistance. This one brings support and help from uh, friendly uh, spirits and uh, kindly supernatural beings to assist one's endeavor. It brings kindly or benevolent spirits to assist one's endeavor. Then the seal of fire, the seal of fire, this is uh, favored by those who seek influential power, popularity and dominance in any field. This is a seal loved by mostly politicians, politicians. And then we have the seal of fortune. Ash, that is my favorite seal, the seal of fortune. This one brings great success in business and many blessings 
in personal and uh, family life. Once you begin to use it, once you have consecrated, personalized it and activated it, you begin to feel its power in all the endeavors of your life. It makes business flourish and makes you successful in even fa your family life. Then we have the seal of the golden uh, stake. This one makes one safe from all danger. And then strong as seal that firearms cannot um, the processor. I think this one, uh, when you look under the Vihin Noam, that is the, the Psalm 91, you will find the seal of the golden stake there. Then we have the seal of good luck. The seal of good luck. The seal of good luck uh, is to achieve success in game of chances. Those who like betting and those who like to have, um, they engage in lottery, etc., uh, the seal of good luck is for you and those who go to the games. Then we have the seal of great generation. This one is for wealth, honor, and promotion. Those who are looking for wealth, honor, and promotion use the seal of great generation. Then we have the seal of Jesus of God. This one is for divine protection and then conquering any obstacles and achieving victory in one's uh, pursuit in one's pursuit then we have the seal of jupiter the seal of jupiter yes possibly confirmed by jupiter you see for victory in legal and court cases and for uh, settling disputes of all kind this seal is sometimes called the seal of mystical assistance the seal of mystical assistance then we have the seal of knowledge the seal of knowledge is to receive information through dreams and then visions also good for the prophets and good for the pastors and then the seal of long life the seal of long life it protects from misfortune and misery and then um, ensure one has a long or lengthy life lengthy life then the seal of love this one is carried by those who uh, want to be much loved and it can gain and hold affection of another person if you want to hold affection of another person then the seal of magic the seal of magic the serpent seal is designated to bring magical assistance to one's wishes and then desire and then uh, needs or require uh, require uh, request sorry request uh, answer then the seal of mass this one Aids in holding marriages or friendship together. This one is good when there is quarrel existing in certain marriages and the two people are trying to go apart. We use the seed of mass to sort of uh, bring uniform or understanding to uh, both. Then the seal of Mephitolis. Mephitolis. You see, it's for overcoming and conquering and controlling one's enemies and protect one from the plot of others. Then the seal of Mebulis. Mebulis is for uh, um, attraction, attraction and for uh, captivating and controlling those who the possessor may encounter. Then we have the seal of Mercury. This one brings wealth, knowledge, alchemy and chemistry. And then the treasure from the earth. The seal of Orion. The seal of Orion. You see, this one is to have wishes fulfilled and to attract honors and then uh, great respect. This seal uh, uh, of general, uh, this seal of general citation is normally carried on the person. And then the seal of power. This one is carried to ensure and restore good health, to strengthen one's health. And then to influence those one may meet towards the possessor, towards the possessor. The seal of Rab Khalid or the doctor oriental. This one is used for medical assistance and to for the ministry of healthy body and clear mind. The next time your wife is going for a delivery. Uh, I suppose you make one of these seals and give it to her when you are attending to the hospitals. Then you really uh, make some, and, and then 
uh, you create one of the seals for them. Then the seal of Saturn or Satan. This one is called the seal of spiritual good luck. It is believed to attract favorable planetary vibrations when one is gambling or indulging in the game of chance. Then the seal of the spirit. The seal of the spirit. This one compels spirits to appear and to serve one's need. This is said to be of great value in bringing quick service and help in all things. The seal of the spirit. It's good during invocation and evocation to carry this seal. This seal the seal of the sun is referred to by many as the seal of honor and wealth. I think the name stands for it, honor and wealth, because it can bring you a lot of uh, plenty wealth and then uh, it grants you honor.